Hi folks, well this is just going to be a short video, just uh, showcasing this uh, collapsible kettle I got through in the van. Uh, I got this as a gift for Christmas. Uh, as you can see, that's it expanded there. And then to collapse it, you basically just push it down like that. And it uh, folds down into a small size so it doesn't take up too much room in your cupboards. Now the model I've got is the uh, Outwell, uh, it's two and a half litre. A collapsible kettle. So you can see there opens out to 17 and a half centimeters by 19 centimeters and then packs down to uh, five and a half by uh, 19 centimeters. So I've had a folding kettle in the past what makes this so much better is this uh, top ring here uh, that really holds the kettle steady when you're pouring. Now the old kettle I had, I've got it here, this is the older one I had there's nothing to support that top, so when you're tipping it, the whole kettle can just fold up like that. And when you've got a full kettle also, uh, your handle's right above the spout, so uh, any steam's coming straight, straight up onto your hand. And obviously when that's folding up like so, when you're trying to tip it, it's uh, less than ideal. Well, the metal ring on this, even if you try and put force on it like that, it's not really folding up at all and when you're tipping it your hand is back so steam's not going straight up onto your hand much better design so this is an example of what this uh, blue kettle was like to pour uh, when you're using it with boiling water i'm just using it with cold water here but it's uh, full uh, probably up to about here so when you're tipping it it, it uh, folds up like that your hand is directly above that spout, um, so you're getting scalded off that as well as the uh, kettle folding up. It was absolutely useless. And this is the well kettle, you can see it's full, just about to the brim there. So you're tipping that, you're not having any, any issues whatsoever. Much better. This one did fold down a tiny bit smaller. In fact, I'm not sure if it even is that much. Uh, but yeah, this design, no good. I didn't like it. As I say, it will, will see years of service. It's got a nice uh, silicon top as well. Yeah, a few folk I've spoke to about these uh, collapsible kettles uh, just didn't understand how they worked. Um, basically, you've got a metal base, which is where all your heat goes into from your gas ring, electric ring, I guess you could use it on an electric ring as well. Uh, so the majority of the heat goes into there, into your water. But this here is a heat-proof silicon, um, or heat resistant silicon, which can't stand quite the uh, direct heat uh, from the gas ring as the metal can, but uh, any heat that's transferred from the metal to the silicon is not going to uh, melt that uh, silicon rubber. And then again, your silicon on your handle and your lid as well. So, not only is it going to melt in uh, general use on your uh, gas rings, or as I say, the electric rings uh, probably would work fine on as well. Uh, not recommended for use in uh, campfires um, because uh, obviously you can't direct where the heat is going uh, quite as easy on a campfire so you're putting a lot of heat into the side that might uh, damage it. Uh, but that's why I've got my campfire kettle. So that's the one I use for uh, sticking on the open flames as you can see. I hand a little kettle that one, or a big kettle, I think it's uh, two and a half litre as well. So, all of them's coming in very handy. So yeah, that's it. Basically, it's just a, a kettle that folds down, saves on storage, and it doesn't take up loads of room in your cupboards. So you can fit more chocolate bars in there. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.